Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to tonight's live stream of uh, SFCM's Tiny Dorm Concert Series. I'm Evan Kahn. I'm Robert Howard. Uh, we're the uh, Braxis Cello Duo. We're based in San Francisco. Uh, and we're so excited to bring you this program of uh, alumni and student cellists from SFCM. Um, these concerts are live performances uh, done every night, uh, live streamed through uh, uh, SFCM's YouTube platform, uh, and they're being streamed daily through April 11th. Um, they're uh, going to feature the entire community of uh, SFCM students and alumni, uh, and some faculty as well. Um, we're so glad you're all here, and we encourage you to interact uh, with the performers with the performances by leaving comments on the YouTube page. Uh, we would love it so much. Um, we also want to be sure to thank Harry Winston for their support. Uh, we obviously need um, resources to put this on and we're very grateful. Um, we have a pretty diverse program for you tonight. Evan and I have two Baroque selections and then a piece by John Zorn which I assure most of you have not heard before. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna start out with some pretty traditional stuff. Um, the first movement of the famous Barrier cello sonata, those of you of a certain age bracket may recall Yo-Yo Ma and Bobby McFerrin did this when I was still a kid. Evan is a bit younger than me and he might not even remember that. I was probably <laughs> not around. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna start off with the Barrier uh, followed by a little Baccarini and then move on to the Zorn. Yeah, and um, each, each section of this concert is going to be about 20 to 25 minutes, uh, and then we're going to have a little, little break, a little five minute break, grab more alcohol. Um, and as Evan mentioned, we do have the YouTube page open and we will be checking the comments, so feel free to make yourself comfortable, get your, um, we, we haven't opened it, but we have our wine ready. ready for when we finish playing. Um, so get your quarantini or, or your glass of wine or your beer, um, and we hope you enjoy. This is the first movement of the Barrier G Major Sonata. <laughs>
All right. I always think of Dangerous Liaisons, another <laughs> dated movie, <laughs> when I hear that. You can imagine Glenn Close and John Malkovich listening to that as they plot their intrigue. This next piece we're going to play uh, is by Luigi Boccherini. Um, it is uh, a cello sonata. I'm playing the continual part, aka the easier part. Uh, Robert has a solo line, uh, and uh, watch him soar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So that was our traditional set for you. <laughs> <laughs> and now for something completely different. Um, John Zorn uh, is uh, a lot of things. He's a composer, he's an improviser, uh, he's a jazz uh, saxophonist and uh, multi-instrumentalist. Uh, and uh, he wrote this piece uh, called Ouroboros, uh, for originally for two amplified cellos uh, and op an optional improvising drum set, which we do not have. Um, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I have been having some pretty odd dreams lately. Um, this piece definitely explores the darker world. I think what Carl Jung would have called the shadow side. The Ouroboros is a very old image or concept of the snake eating its tail. And um, you'll hear in this piece um, that it's antiphonal. We, we mimic each other. So I'm playing the upper part, Evan is playing another part. It's extremely dissonant, most of it, um, but a lot of it is played in canon. That means that I start and then he plays the same thing, often an octave lower. Um, and you can imagine that, that snake kind of writhing around in some, I don't know, primordial psychic goo. Yes. <laughs> Which is what a lot of us feel like. <laughs> yeah. We all feel like we're primordial psychic goo. Um, so, uh, but this is an incredible piece and we're really, really excited to share it with you. Uh, this is Ouroboros. Uh, I need that. Thank <laughs> you. 
take a um, five minute break here. Um, Feel free to refill your drink, change Ooh. your outfit. I don't know about you, I'm having my daytime t-shirt and my nighttime t-shirt. This is about as formal as I've been for- Oh, months. this is by far the most formal I've been in a while. Uh, so I'm grateful that I get to bring that for you. Um, Thanks for giving us an excuse to dress up. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, really appreciate it. So yeah, um, Make yourself uh, another drink and we'll be back uh, at 5.30 with some more music. Welcome back. We hope you uh, enjoyed that rather eclectic first set. Um, we have a range of students and alums uh, for you this evening, uh, all cellists. And next we're gonna turn it over to Daniela and Jose, uh, who I believe are gonna play some Bach and a movement of Chopin for you. Uh, you may have noticed also that we got a guest star. Uh, this is Grace, the dog. She's uh, emceeing a lot with us. So I will now turn it over to Daniela and Jose, and uh, we'll see what they have to offer for us. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Daniela gonzalez Hugh. I'm a cellist at SSDM. And today we're gonna play a selection of Bach. I'm gonna start with the prelude of the suite number four, and then I'm gonna do a movement from Chopin's Cello Sonata with my friend Jose Salinas. We are currently in Mexico City, and we're, thank you for joining us in this live stream. Thank you.
Thank you so much. That was gorgeous. That's actually um, has a special uh, meaning for me personally. My mother died seven years ago and I played that movement at her memorial. So I always associate that with her. Thank you so much. That was gorgeous. Uh, now we are going to uh, move into a little different musical world here. Um, Abby Moore, uh, a current student at the conservatory is going to be um, performing alongside Robert Jean Bruno, uh, an alum on trumpet. So we're going to hear a cello and trumpet duo. Uh, really excited for that. Um, we'll pass it over to them. Hi. So we're going to be playing something that is, or a, a duo that's really underplayed because of the instrumentation. No one normally thinks of a trumpet and a cello as being good partners for chamber music, but we're going to be playing this son sonata by uh, French compose composer Yves Chardon. He, he was a cellist, so he, I guess, began his professional cello career with the Boston Symphony when Kusevitsky was conducting and then went on to Milwaukee Symphony. He actually founded the Florida Symphony, and then for the last 25 years of his playing, he was principal cello of the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra. Uh, at one point, he actually performed this piece with uh, Mel Broyles, who was the principal trumpet of the Metropolitan Opera, so good company, I suppose. It was written in 1963, um, and interesting fact, it was written for a, a D trumpet, which is something you really don't see in the literature very often. So, here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right. Wow, that that looks not easy. <laughs> but it sounded incredible, guys. Really bravo. Yeah, awesome. Wow. I've never heard a cello and trumpet duet before. Clearly there. Have you? No. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. We're, we're thinking it needs a movie footage to go with it. We got some comments on YouTube that it's very cinematic. Yeah. Great piece. Uh, well, we're going to take a little break here. Um, and we're going to refill these. Uh, hope you do too. And look forward to seeing you soon in five or so minutes. Take care. Okay, welcome back. Next, we have Zoe Lee is going to share some Bach for us uh, with us. Um, those of you that are on Instagram and Facebook and some other platforms may have noticed there have been an awful lot of musicians playing Bach. And Zoe, I look forward to hearing yours. Um, I've been doing some recordings myself on YouTube. I noticed Gautier Cocusson and Elisa Weilerstein are both doing Bach. Johnny Gendelsman is a violinist who's recorded the Bach cello suites on the violin. Um, so there's lots of really great Bach floating around the internet. And Zoe is going to share her rendition with us. Thank you. Over to you, Zoe. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in our tiny dorm concert. My name is Zoe Lee, and I'm a sophomore cello student here at SFCM. I'm very happy to see you all here on this virtual concert. And this is my first time doing this kind of thing. I'm very excited and hope you guys doing well, staying at home and having fun. And as you can see, I am in my store, school dorm and this is my room at San Francisco. Today I'll be playing some Bach for you guys um, and also for very hardworking medical workers and some people who are still taking risks working outside to keep the work still functional. So I'm going to play Sarban and Break first and second from Bach Cello Suite number three. And last thing, uh, feel free to comment below if you're using the laptop and here if you're using the phone. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
about the tiny door concert go check sfcn website thank you for watching bye bye that was so beautiful thank you so much for playing um yeah it was like so we just said uh we have tiny dorm concerts uh through sfcn's uh youtube page every day until uh april 11th uh tomorrow's tiny dorm concert is going to be student curated um, by uh, SFCM student Ali Thompson. Uh, it's going to be a lot of incredible performers, uh, students and alumni for you there. Um, coming up next, we have Nick Denton, a recent alum of the conservatory in cello and composition, who's going to be playing one of his own compositions and then Kodai's, Zoltan Kodai's solo cello sonata, the first movement. Really looking forward to that. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Nicholas Denton Protzak, as, uh, as Evan said, and um, I'm about to um, play for you a work that I wrote um, about uh, a few years ago, and the, uh, this is the second movement of the work, um, and, and uh, this particular movement is for solo cello. Um, the rest of the work is for cello and electronics. However, um, this particular movement uh, utilizes a, uh, a technique for the cello called string crossings, in which I rapidly switch between strings, like uh, like so. Um, and essentially, uh, uh, in doing so, I'm able to create a very sort of symphonic sound on just a solo cello. Um, the work that this piece is from is called Cosmology, and this is the second movement of it called uh, Dark Age. Thank you. 
Right, so this next work um, is, uh, as Evan said, the first movement of Kodai's unaccompanied cello sonata. Um, and while I'm explaining uh, a little bit about this work to you, I just have to tune my cello because the tuning for this um, particular piece is much different than what the cello would normally do. Um, let me just get this really quickly here so I can show you and demonstrate. As you can see, 
my lower two strings have been tuned down a fifth. So normally the cello would be tuned like this. But instead, it now sounds like this. And in doing so, Kodai opens an entirely new sort of sonic landscape for the cello to explore. Um, this piece is uh, very near and dear to me. Um, and I think in these uh, difficult times that we are currently living in, um, I, I, think it's, I think it's a very appropriate piece in a lot of ways. Um, it's very heroic and it's, it's a fighting sort of piece. And, and I think in a lot of ways, sure, we are, we, are, we are staying, we are waiting, we are isolating, but in doing so, we are all fighting. And I would like to basically say that uh, uh, I view this piece as a sort of testament to that sort of attitude. Um, and the sort of way that we need to um, be moving forward from here. So without further ado, the first movement of Kodai's unaccompanied cello sonata.
that was awesome thank you so much nick um i for one if you're open to a request for your your own composition i would love to have a look at it it sounds yeah, really, really great uh, they both did and the kodai is one of my favorite pieces um it never gets old it's always interesting because it's always so personal you can hear a bunch of great cellists play it and it sounds like a different piece a little bit every time which is really cool super cool um, so this has been a really eclectic mix, but really uh, fun to, to go to, I think, British Columbia and Mexico City, and we're coming in from all over the place and from the dorm, um, and from here over at Alamo Square in San Francisco. Um, and we're lucky that we have this technology that we can do this. Um, thanks so much to San Francisco Conservatory for sponsoring this and for putting it on. Um, and they're doing a whole series, as Evan mentioned, of these every single night. So um, check their website and tune in again tomorrow 
Yeah, tomorrow, uh, Pei, Ling Lin, uh, Pei Ling Lin of the Telegraph String Quartet is playing some solo. Jean-Michel Fontenot, one of our uh, esteemed cello faculty, is playing tomorrow. Uh, and there's going to be a jazz trio tomorrow in, in that program. Definitely a good one to check out. Um, and uh, also, please share this online. Invite friends uh, to watch with you tomorrow. Follow us at CM on social media. Uh, and if you have a means, please consider making a gift to support the students who really are working hard during this time uh, to support themselves uh, and get through this because uh, it's a hard time. So thank you all so, so much. and. Uh, have a wonderful night. Thanks again for tuning in.